Hey guys, happy August 12th. It is currently 7.45 a.m. and we should Wait, probably go down like really, really soon for attendance. I vlogged my whole sorority recruitment um, on the outside. So while I was a PM, I vlogged like everything. I just had pretty much like a mini diary and like how I felt, what happened every day. So I kind of wanted to do the same thing but put a little twist on it. So now I am inside a sorority. I'm a Kappa Delta at UCF. So I'm going to be doing a little diary of what it's like on the inside and hopefully I can give you guys some helpful tips if you guys are recruiting on the inside and like makeup like just like conversations like anything like that I actually asked you guys to ask me questions about this topic so I have some questions that I'll be answering throughout the week so hopefully this vlog will be a little bit more helpful than my other vlogs Today is UCF day one and tomorrow is UCF day two so we wear the same outfits. Everyone's going to be wearing um, their sorority letters on a gray asphalt t-shirt I think. And then our chapter is wearing white jean skirts and brown sandals. Um, when you go through recruitment on the inside we all like to look uniform so every chapter picks what they're going to wear and so not every chapter is the same. So I'll also be showing you guys my outfits throughout the week. Um, and I got some really cute stuff, so I'm really excited to show you guys. Basically on UCF day one, the conversations are really, really basic. So it's basically like, oh, what'd you do this summer? Kind of get to know them for 15 minutes, I think. It's a really short amount of time. It's pretty much a first impression for us as recruiters and also the P&M um, and their first impressions of every chapter. So I feel like today is a pretty important day just because first impressions yeah. mean a lot, at least to me. Um, but obviously, if you are going through recruitment, if you're watching this as a PM, please keep an open mind because it is so important. It's gonna like make your recruitment experience so much better. Honestly, I think this vlog is just gonna be a lot of me talking in my room, so hopefully, I can get some clips outside. But obviously, I'm going to be doing parties, so I'm not gonna be having my phone during parties. But I will try to update you guys as much as possible. Alright, so we are on lunch break. It is currently 12.40 and I didn't wear my Apple Watch this whole time so like I had no sense of time. Like I thought it was like going by so fast. I thought it was like 10 in the morning or something and I was like damn this is really early to get out for lunch but I don't know. I feel like parties really go fast. So on UCF day 1 and 2, usually like seniors announce every day um like hi i'm sonali like welcome in kappa delta so um i'm one of the announcers for ucf day and yeah i like totally yeah, forgot I so i was like freaking out at the last minute and literally was so nervous the first party like i was like holding and squeezing kaylin's hand and i was like oh my god oh my god oh my god like i don't know i just thought i was like gonna twist up my words but it went well so literally like whether you're a recruiter or a PM, your first party is gonna be the most nerve wracking thing. Like, I'm a senior, I've done it for like two years now, and this is my third, and I'm still getting so nervous. Like, I know how it works, and I still get really nervous. So, you're always gonna be really nervous for your first party, but after that, you'll really get a feel for everything, and hopefully, you won't be as nervous as the first party. I'm sorry, I'm talking with a knife, but I'm like heating up my microwave to like frozen food right now. Um, I just like stocked up on like a bunch of frozen foods because we get out pretty late every day. So I knew I probably wouldn't want to go to the grocery store. I'd probably be really tired. Um, and also I got up at like 5.30 a.m. today. And I know all my friends think I'm like literally insane because they all woke up at like 6.40. But I didn't want to rush. So I had time to like just chill and um like do my thing so it was really nice that i woke up early although i'm like super freaking tired right now like i was like falling asleep when i was just like sitting in a chair but i'm gonna go see if my frozen food's done i brought in some of my sisters to ask the first question were you guys more nervous as a pnm or a sister oh i don't know <laughs> i um, was now i'm I feel like since we're announcing, I'm definitely more nervous. Oh, really? I'm not. I feel like I was more nervous as a PNM. Me too. I was more nervous as a PNM, mm -hmm. but then I was really, 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 really nervous my first year on the inside. Yeah. yeah. But my like now, I'm not actually. nervous. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it was pretty equal. The yeah. First time. So we just had our last party, and guess who changed into super comfy clothes? Me and Kaylin. <laughs> we're gonna answer one more thing. Um, let's see. Okay, what makes the PM stand out the most in a positive way? So, um, me and Kaylin were talking about this, and we think that just like showing what's unique to you 
like you explain it you explain it better can just like if you emphasize the things that you care about the most uh -huh. that's gonna set you apart because if you seem passionate about something yeah. people are gonna remember that yeah so that's pretty much all for today tomorrow is another ucf day so we'll be wearing the same outfit um and yeah we'll see you guys tomorrow So that is a wrap on UCF day two, two, not four. We only had six parties instead of eight like yesterday. So that was And nice. no rain. Yes. No rain. Oh, oh my God. God. The rain Blessing. cloud was so close. But then I, I was like literally <laughs> watching it go by so fast. And I was like, Kaylin, there's blue. Because when it rains, we have to do a rain entrance and exit. And that means basically the PMs um, just like chill in the house um so basically that just like elongates our day because they can't go on to the next house if it's raining obviously sign up for sorority recruitment <laughs> next year <laughs> yeah if you guys are thinking about it like okay let's all say like one pro about joining a sorority for me i'm an out-of-state student so it was really important for me to have like that family like i had in my cheer team like i made friends immediately from that so I knew I could make friends immediately from a sorority. Um, I think for me, it's probably just kind of getting my foot in the door in like any way that I can. So like being president is obviously just a great experience. I think it's great people experience and also it's great um, professional experience too because, you know, I'm managing basically 170 yeah. something <laughs> girls like y you don't think about it that way but it really yeah. is like a very big um everyday job yeah and like I mean just kind of going off of that I think that it's a very unique situation being in Greek life mm -hmm. the like balance between leadership op opportunities that you can have and also mixing it with like those social elements that are just fun because you're in college mm -hmm. but so I think that it really prepares you. Another thing is I have two little sisters, so we're all seniors and going into our last year. It's been a great opportunity for me to be a role model to a lot of younger girls, especially through recruitment. These younger girls are like literally looking up to us because we're standing on benches and they're literally looking up to us and following us each week and um, following in our footsteps. So it's cool to be able to take that older sister experience that I've gotten all through my life and apply it to like a big group of girls. Okay, well, we are gonna have a little photo shoot just because when you get this pretty, when you wake up at 5.30 a.m. to <laughs> you do your That's just an though, except yeah. for 5.30. You wake up 30 minutes I before. 6.40. 6 6.50 yeah. over here. I, like I said yesterday, I just don't like to rush. So, Bumpy I mean- it's 7.20. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. She's some, some people can do their makeup in 10 minutes, but your girl can't, so I gotta wake up at 5.30. <laughs> so, anyways. We're gonna take pictures, we're gonna make use out of this makeup. You'll see them on Insta. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, happy August 14th. It is currently Tuesday and it is philanthropy day. So today we're gonna obviously be talking about our philanthropy and then also we're gonna take a tour of our house and that means like all the house girls are like literally so frantic right now like we're all cleaning up our rooms which yes we should have done it last night but like we're just doing like finishing touches making everything look perfect because obviously when a pnm walks into your room you want them to be like oh my god this is so cute so i tried really hard last year to like have a super cute room and so this year i tried to make it even cuter and i think the gallery wall really um you know, does something for this room. So I'm really pumped about the way it turned out. Shout out to my boyfriend for making like pretty much all the wood stuff that I have. Like he made like a star for me. He made like my amazing shelves, my headboard last year and just like so many things and hung all this stuff up. So thank you, Ryan, you're amazing and you already know that. So today is actually my favorite day to recruit. Although I'm not recruiting this year because I am a senior, um, but last year and the year Prior to that, I loved Philanthropy Day because, first of all, house tours are so much fun. Like, you can see people's cute decor and, like, I'm super into that stuff. And then, also, there's just so much to talk about um, because we have, like, our philanthropy and you can talk a lot about, like, the house, like, living in it or your house mom or the meal plan or the free parking, like, literally anything. Not that I'm saying that you can't talk about whatever you want on the other days, but I feel like Philanthropy Day just has so much that you can talk about like it has like bullet points like because we're talking about the house and philanthropy does that make sense but yeah so this is my favorite day and i wanted to show you guys my outfit because i'm one of those girls that like never spend over like 30 dollars on a dress or like a shirt or anything like i'm like wow that's really expensive like i'm not gonna get that but when it comes to recruitment i just splurge because 
I don't know. I feel like it's just that one time a year that I'm like, okay, like I'm going to buy myself a $50 or $60 dress, even though I'm going to like probably only wear it one time. But this dress could honestly be worn to like a wedding. Not that I'm ever going to get invited to one very soon, but I mean, maybe I'll keep it for that. So if you guys watched my what to wear for sorority recruitment, you have already seen this dress. It is from Princess Polly and I love it because it has so much detail like all down here. And I don't know, I think it like suits me well. The only thing is that it is unfortunately strapless. So when I step clap, like I don't know what's gonna happen to my boobs, but hopefully they'll stay in place. Then for my shoes, I also showed this in my what to wear for sorority recruitment video. I'll link that down below. Um, but yeah, they are just Sam Edelman's. I actually got this from a thrift store and literally probably my favorite thing I've ever gotten from a th thrift store because these were like, let me say like $27. So you guys saw for UCF days, we all wore the same thing, gray t-shirts, white skirts, and brown sandals. But today we start wearing like different things. So today our colors are like, what is this Just green? evergreen. Evergreen and white, <laughs> I think. Is that the two only? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then tomorrow it's going to be burgundy blush pink and nude nude it's just kind of like a color palette every sorority like kind of chooses one and that is maybe one con about being in recruitment on the inside it might you know you might spend some money on some outfits you know because you are required to like buy an evergreen dress if you pick evergreen or a white dress like obviously you can like find something in your closet but if you don't have it like you know what i mean i mean i got this for like what Probably like fifteen dollars. So you, it's not like you're required. I know at some other schools, like you're required to buy like that exact dress, a exact yeah. dress, even if it's super expensive. But yeah. luckily here, we like kind of just like have a color, and then you can get whatever you want in that color, which is nice because mm -hmm. you can have your own like budget. Yeah, seriously. Because like like I said, I like to splurge on my recruitment outfits just because she knows I literally shop at Plato's Closet like all the time, or like Boohoo when it's like fifty percent off. But um. You know, a lot of people find their dresses on sale at Forever 21. Maya's dress was like $5 at Forever 21. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it just like depends on like what you want to do for your outfits. So we're going to answer a question that says, how do you keep your mind active and alert while meeting so many girls? I feel like that is so hard <laughs> given I have like the worst memory in the world. But when I'm talking to a girl, obviously like I'm trying to like interact and I'm trying to like relate things to my life that she said so like thinking and like remembering what she said is really hard sometimes also it's loud in the room mm -hmm. that you're talking in yeah. so i feel like it's really important to try to like block everything out and just focus on her so that you can um like hear every word she's saying mm -hmm. and then like try to remember that yeah and um i would also say like eye contact is super important because yeah like Either if you're looking at the girl's like whole face or like just her mouth, like sometimes it helps me to look at someone's mouth and like hear them talk. Does that make sense? Like, I don't know. I feel yeah. like it, I just hear it better. Yeah. So that is the question for this morning. We're going to go down for attendance, start this day off and comment down below if you guys want a room tour because I don't really want to show you guys in this video, but I'll do a room tour if you guys want it. Hey guys, happy August 15th. It is currently 8 a.m. and this day I did not wake up late, so awesome and I filmed a get ready with me so I don't know which one's going up first but I'll try to link it down below but today is video day so today the PNMs come in and they get to watch the video that Sonali made that showcases our sisterhood and so the goal of today is just to let them get to see more sisters since they don't get the chance to talk to everyone mm -hmm. and um they'll just like talk more about like sisterhood stuff like sisterhood events or like what their favorite sisterhood memory was like big little and stuff like that so there's like a lot to talk about in that aspect the party's a little bit longer mm -hmm. so you get to talk more mm -hmm. and then tomorrow's prep so as Kaylin said, um, or if you guys watched my previous vlogs, you would know that I worked like throughout like last year to make the philanthropy and the sisterhood video. So they will be live on our YouTube channel, on Katie UCF YouTube channel. Um, the philanthropy video is already up and obviously by the time this video is up, the sisterhood video will be up because um, I'm just like posting them like after the day is done. Um, cause I just like, I'm just so excited to post, like I'm, I have it ready and cute and stuff, but yeah, so both of them will be linked down below. I'm so excited to share because I've literally been working like 
the whole entire year on them so so the question of the morning is do you recommend spray tans acrylic slash extension for recruitment or is that too much so I feel like you should just do whatever makes you most comfortable like I feel more comfortable when I have a tan but I'm naturally very fair so I get a spray tan for recruitment because it just makes me feel better mm -hmm. So, um, but like nails, lashes, like just whatever you prefer. Mm -hmm. No one's going to look down on you or look up at you compared no. to like on what you do. So I personally don't really love lash extensions right now. I'm wearing the, um, Demi Wispies and they're amazing. But if you aren't used to putting on like strip lashes, it's going to be a little bit hard and recruitment is not the time to try anything new. I definitely wanted to talk about this because like if you want to like curl your hair, then you need to like start practicing like in the middle of summer because you don't want to like feel insecure throughout yeah, the whole day. Yeah, that would really suck if you didn't feel confident when you're coming into like meeting yeah. new people. So that's why you have to like wear whatever makes you feel comfortable because when you're comfortable, you're m more confident. If you want to wear lashes, wear lashes. If you want to get your nails done, get your nails done. Um, like she said, nothing's gonna like, it's not like a factor you know yeah, what I mean? some people come in and they have no makeup like yeah. nothing to make themselves more glam and like mm -hmm. we're just looking at you for like how you are and so yeah. and that's like fine another thing I wanted to mention um because I just did an updated what to wear for sorority recruitment did you notice that a lot of people were like way casual than usual like yesterday yeah like, people were wearing like like, like jean shorts skirts. and jeans and I saw some flare jeans. Yeah. And People like, were trendy. No, yeah, they were trendy. Like, I was, like, all for it. Like, I was like, damn, yeah. girl, you killing it. Like, I don't know. People I looked cute. Mm -hmm. Like, two-piece sets. Yeah, yeah. I had a two-piece set. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so, I mean, times are changing. If you really want to wear, like, jeans or jean skirts and not, like, a dress or a romper, you probably can. I would say more for philanthropy day keep it more casual but once you get into video day and especially prep like try to make it a little bit fancier try to wear dresses and rompers what happened valentina oh, my strap <laughs> it broke it broke <laughs> oh this is perfect is like, i'm rigging it like so hard oh my god <laughs> wait i feel like that's pretty good oh my god damn okay let's do the other one <laughs> so i totally forgot to vlog my outfit but i actually really liked my dress today it was from uh pretty little thing and I'm not really sure how much it costs but I'll try to link every outfit that I had during this week down below so you guys can like shop it if you want but I'm definitely gonna add in our senior pictures right now because they turned out so cute like I don't know it was so funny because like we watched the um, sisterhood video for the last time and like we, I didn't even want to cry like I was trying to like look at the ground but, like I'm an emotional girl like if you know me you know that I like cry if I see someone else crying so I was trying not to cry but then I looked up at every other senior and then they were bawling their eyes out so I was like damn it like and then tears started streaming so I don't know all the PMs probably thought we were crazy but it was like our last time like doing this whole like step clapping and like basically recruitment I mean tomorrow's prep so that's like really the last day but it's kind of like a very different vibe um, from all the other days. Um, so there's like no step clapping. It's like way more chill. But I definitely want to bring my camera downstairs and maybe get some like recruitment advice from my other sisters because I feel like they always have really good points that I never think of. Video today. Check. <laughs> recruitment makes us delusional. <laughs> so this is what video day looks like. My favorite flowers. The hydrangeas, they're so beautiful. I am right here with Kaylin. So cute. We went to spring break in Georgia, Helen, Georgia, one time, and that's where that was taken. And this was from recruitment filming. I took this picture, and 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 I took this picture. Hello. And yeah. Take a lot of pics. Now I'm going to show you guys what recruitment looks like after recruitment. Katie, after hours. No, What's up? But you guys aren't even going to be quiet, so don't get Roomy. Cutie. So cute. <laughs> then we have girls like Jenna. <laughs> So this is Diane. This is like our beautiful, like most eloquent girl in the chapter. When we were thinking of like who wants to talk in the video, I was like, Diane's perfect for confidence. And like, guys, you literally have to check out the videos I made. Link down below, but 
Anyways, I want her to give like some recruitment advice to PMs and recruiters. Something that both like recruiters and PMs can really um, use as advice going through recruitment um, is just to be genuine. Yeah. Because if you're selling your sorority and like saying all the great things that are amazing about it and yeah. you're not truthful and you're not genuine and it's not coming from your heart, yes. if a PM falls in love with what you're saying, when they get to the chapter, they're gonna realize that it was all false and they're yeah. gonna have a bad taste in their mouth for it. So as long as both parties are genuine, I yeah. think that's when people really truly find like where they actually go. And for PM, stay true to your heart, like don't let reputations or like prior knowledge or anything like that get in the way of what your heart's pulling you to go because yeah. If you do that, you might end up in a place where you're not happy. And you yeah. want to get the most out of the experience. Like, that's what being in sorority is all about. It's about growing and, like, finding your people. So you want to find your real people who are actually make And that was Genuity. all one take. One take. <laughs> Diane Wade. Amazing. Next up is Silvana. She is amazing as well. Well, everyone's amazing in my chapter, and I'm really not just saying that. Like, come on. <laughs> Hello. This is Alexa. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I just slapped you in the face. <laughs> this is Alexa. Hello. And she's like the most beautiful blue eyes. Yes. Show them off. Show them off. Get in the, get in the, get in the camera. camera. My eyelashes look bad. You can't see them. Oh. Uh, I would say for PNMs, just like I was not the sorority type at all when I went through. Yeah. And like recruitment was really tough for me in that yeah. aspect. But when I went through, I just like, I was, I said that I'm not gonna go to one unless I completely fall in love with it. Which when I walked into Katie, it was just people talking to me about like ideas and concepts and just things that I found interesting, like stimulating conversation. And it was just like, I was being myself and that's how those things came about. And that's the biggest advice I give to you, and Just don't tone yourself down. Yeah, I was gonna say, if I had any advice, I'd say be yourself. Because you can tell when girls are like faking it. Yeah, faking absolutely. it in. Or like lying. And I love like, when girls are just so up, like lying, lying. <laughs> like uh, it makes it easier on us too when the girls are just completely real with us. Yeah, like, yeah, because it's absolutely. absolutely. Okay, well we're gonna get pizza. <laughs> oh my god, I literally have pizza grease on my face. Hello. What are, what are you? Welcome to Katie wow. Lighting. That's beautiful. It really is. We literally have these big ass windows. And we call it the Katie lighting. You have to like just run like run that way. Okay, ready one? Like Lily Sprint. Two. No. <laughs> this is so surreal. I remember watching your videos when I was in I know, I'm subscribed. Alright, so we came somewhere a little bit more quiet so we can tell our intimate love story, me and Lauren. Not so intimate, not so intimate. That's right. A little intimate, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so we were in the same Rogam group, and basically, like, I, don't, I guess there's not really that much meat in it. We both want Katie, basically. And we have the cutest video, and that's why I wanted to talk about it because, like, it's in our recruitment video for two years now because I reused it. Everyone it's so loves freaking it. cute. It gives me the chills every time. Like, yeah, it's a so tearjerker. It's definitely a tearjerker. That's probably the moment where I was crying when we were all crying up mm -hmm. there today. Because oh. we really did start from the bottom when you see the picture. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to post our glow up pictures. Like, holy hell. It's, it's, a little, <laughs> it's a little wild up in here. But thank God for that Katie lighting. Thank God for that Katie glow up. So my piece of recruitment advice would be to choose a house to where you would see yourself mm -hmm. growing and being a better version of yourself and not going necessarily where you would feel comfortable and you would have kind of the same experience that you had in high school with the same kind of people or go somewhere where you have people that you would want to be like in the future yeah the girls that have i don't know like a lot of goals and morals and everything yeah. that you want to be like the future version of yourself basically got the chills <laughs> oh my god <laughs> And Lauren said she would be awkward, but she's amazing. I am awkward, it's fine. <laughs> More recruitment advice for you guys. Go, Delaney. Wear comfortable shoes and don't wear a dress that is a little low. Yeah, I mean, honestly, <laughs> don't guys. Don't everything you have. <laughs> yeah, honestly, guys, I probably shouldn't have gotten strapless dresses this whole freaking week, but my dumbass, like. <laughs> Step clapping. The fr yeah, the first burgundy outfit I saw, I was like, okay, bye. Like, I was so over it because, like, when you're in a sorority, like I said, you're kind of required to get like a certain color. Sometimes it gets overwhelming because there's so many like shops and like you don't know what to buy. And then once you find like a good, okay outfit, you're like, okay, whatever. Like I'm over it. Like I'll just buy it. Yeah. As you're older and just you're like, I'll just wear the same one again. It doesn't matter. Yeah. 
True. Like you don't care as much. Especially yeah. if you have like you the same color palette. Mm -hmm. Yeah. True. Wait. Link in. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> And if you want to hit that thumbs up while you're down there, like, yeah, don't forget to like, yeah. subscribe. <laughs> they are not my sisters. <laughs> it's prep night. Well, prep day, prep night. I don't even know. It's preference. And I am currently doing some hair. Turn around. So pretty. And then Tiffany wanted me to add like little baby breaths because we had like extra from the other days. Also, is there more extra because I want them in our room? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> well, I mean, we could take all the baby breaths. Off. Yeah, seriously. This is like the day that you can really do whatever you want with your hair. Like most people do updos just because it's kind of like fancier. So that's what we're doing today. Mm. We could put them in those like mason jars. I wanted to. That would be really cute. Literally, this is the final hair turn. Pretty. Hey guys, so it is 2 p.m. I think our first prep party is at 3 and since I'm a senior I didn't really recruit at all so I'm not going to prep which is totally fine with me. I was talking to um, one of my sisters last night and I told her that I've never prepped anyone and that's so normal. I just think it's a little unrealistic to think that everyone's gonna have a rush crush. Like personally before I came in I always saw like captions like brush crush and I never had a rush crush going into recruitment and I never had a rush crush on the inside of recruitment so I don't know and like a lot of people don't and that's like totally fine. I just don't want everyone to think that that's how recruitment is because I don't want you to get upset if that doesn't happen to you. So just to put it in perspective that like that's not really you know a big thing but anyway since i'm not prepping anyone i thought it'd be a really great thing to um have a little work day or like a preparation day because tomorrow is bid day and i'm filming the bid day video and i filmed the bid day video last year um i never talked about this but i guess it's been a year and i'm kind of over it by now so i was filming last year's bid day video um, and my friend Charlotte was a rogue gamma, so I was the one that held her sign and she ran home to me um, And I had my like camera in my hand Literally like three seconds before she ran like I saw her running so I put it down and Like pretty much all my friends were like behind me or like people that I knew But there were some like boys and fraternities that were like standing on the sidewalk near it So once she ran home to me maybe like a minute a minute 30 seconds later maybe two minutes at max I turned around and my camera was gone. My camera, my little Sony camera and my stabilizer was gone. Somebody literally freaking stole my camera and my stabilizer. And I was like so upset, but I didn't even have the time to cry. I didn't even have the time to like be upset because I had a duty to film this video and I wasn't gonna just stop because my camera got stolen because luckily I do have a big camera so I literally went and grabbed my big camera good thing I was living in a house and I had everything in my room so yeah I just went and grabbed it started filming everything that I could and I was overall really upset mostly because I lost my footage and not really super upset in the moment about my camera um but just because I worked so hard on the footage like before the P&Ms ran home and it was gonna be so cute and yeah so all that footage was lost so i had to start new didn't have my stabilizer so the video turned out to be like super shaky and just like not what i knew it should have been um because i like invested in a stabilizer literally for bid day and i swear i think i used that stabilizer for like maybe two times before bid day so definitely didn't get my use out of that um and i had to buy a new sony camera and my lens that was on it you know my bank account was hurting after i had to replenish it because i'm gonna be honest i was a little bit depressed after it got stolen just because i couldn't vlog or anything like i had my big camera yes i could film like main videos but i didn't have like my vlogging camera and honestly it's what i use on an everyday basis so the fact that i couldn't have like the ability to create content was killing me inside like it was eating me up and i literally couldn't sleep i I went to bed thinking about it every single night and so I was just like you know what I need to like just replenish it and like buy it for me because it made me happy like literally having a camera in my hand makes me genuinely happy right now the first thing I'm gonna do I did this last year is I'm gonna like mix some songs together because I 
always think that it's so important to have a song that no one really knows or like something super super new that no one's like gonna really use my worst fear is that another chapter has the same song in their video so i really don't want that to happen um so i'm probably gonna mix like a couple songs and do it in garage band so that's step one like finding music is so important because without the music you can't really start editing it to the beat like yes you can chop up the clips um and like see what you have to work with but other than that you can't really go anywhere without music so gotta get the music down first and then i'm also gonna prepare um some images at the end i think i'm gonna like put in pictures and i'm also gonna watch just like a couple bid day videos just to get like some shots in mind you know filming anything really like let's say it's bid day i want a drone footage of the house drone footage of um, my sister's in front of the house and we have a guy that's coming with a, his drone. His name is Danny Kay. He's in ZBT and he always takes our pictures. He's really great um, and he just got a drone so good news for me and my video. Let's see what else and then shots of like putting glitter on people. I mean some of it's cliche but also you just gotta get it because it's bid day and it's just something that should be in a bid day video so um, I usually just make note of like shots like it's called a shot list I'm pretty sure and I just make a note of what I want to be in my video so I don't miss anything on the actual day because if you don't plan out like that then you're definitely going to not have enough footage for your video. I don't know. I feel like I'm going on a geek rant. I don't know if you guys are interested in this but that's just how my mind works and I always like to like share advice and stuff so all right let's get started with this music. Tiffany's final look. So the president and the VPM always wears something just a little bit different and they match. Well, at least our chapter does. And turn around, let me see the hair. So pretty. Love it. Thank and you. And Jenny, you look beautiful too. Thank you. So I actually just went down for a prep party just to like hear the testimonials. And let me just say, I think I'm probably going to cry more this year than like ever in my life because it's just so emotional to think that like this all happened so fast like high school goes by so slow but college literally like not to be cliche but like literally passed by in the blink of an eye and it's just so sad because like especially when you're a senior you're like so close to these girls and like to even think that i'll be like in a different state or like just somewhere else without these people in the same house like every single day just like i can't even like imagine that and I don't know, it's like really, I don't know, it's really emotional for me just because these girls have been my whole life for four years. So, I don't know, it's like, I can't even imagine, but I'm definitely going to have some puffy ass eyes tonight. That's all I have to say. The best part of prep night is our white roses. There's literally like buckets of them, so we're like totally stealing them for a room because why not they're just here chilling so they're definitely gonna take them they're so pretty so it is currently like 10 p.m we just got our bid day shirts and i actually designed what's on the shirt like i drew it out on my ipad i'm so excited because i think it really turned out well on the shirt i'll show you guys more in depth like the shirt tomorrow hopefully but i'm trying to plan out like what i'm exactly wearing for bid day tomorrow usually the new member ed only tells us our bid day theme like tonight like before prep so we like don't have any time to get our outfits but luckily this year we got to find out our bid day theme a week early so we had time to like get stuff and amazon prime stuff and obviously i knew the theme because i did the shirt so. so this is the first option i have this jean skirt from American Eagle. All right guys, this is another option. Got these from Boohoo. Hey guys, happy bid day. Today is the day we get our new pledge class. So we're all really, really excited about that. And I literally like put together my outfit last night and I couldn't sleep because I was just so excited about today. This is the look today. I'm super hype about it. I did my own hair and it's just like braids that go into a bun. It turned out a lot better than I thought and then I curled the ends and actually these buns I added like three wefts to each one of them uh, of hair extensions so they're a little bit thicker. I got all my necklaces from Amazon. They're so cute um, and then these earrings so extra but I got them from Forever 21. My shorts are from Boohoo 
and this belt on uh, I wish I could tell you where it's from maybe forever 21 then this is our bid day shirt and I actually drew this whole thing on my iPad like I told you guys last night so this is what it looks like and then these shoes are from Amazon as well um, I got them in a beige color and I wanted to wear those but those are like coming a little later unfortunately so I'm wearing my black ones today who's ready for bid day please I am <laughs> I'm hungry she got some yeah. bendies going on. Double hoops. Oh yeah, those look really cool. Coin belt. Mm-hmm. Rings. Anklets. Trendy shoes. Mm -hmm. Got the trend going. Ready to go. Cute. Cute. Hello, Patrick. Cute. <laughs> 